This is Come As You Are in the key of C. Hope you love this simplified version. Make sure to stop the video, click on the description of the video, and I do have the chord sheet that you can print out and follow along with me. Okay, so in this key, we have some basic chords. We have C, F, G, and then we have our A minor. So there's just the four chords. All right, so let's go through those. Uh, C, E, G makes up our C chord, and it's found by looking for the group of two black notes, and here is the C note, okay? Kind of a reference point for you. All right, let's jot down here. Here is the F chord, and you'll find it by looking for the three black notes together, and then it's to the left of that third, well, the first one, I should say. F, A, C is our F chord, okay? And then G is just right up uh, one note from there, so we have G, B, D. And if you move up one more note, you will find yourself in the A minor position. A, C, E. Okay, and then we only have our, um, those four chords. So we have C, F, G, and our A minor. All right, so let's look at left hand. We're just gonna be playing single notes down here. So I would just find maybe thumb on C, line up your five fingers, and then you don't have to move this hand the whole song. Just keep it there so you're not moving all over the for, uh, piano. So we're gonna play single C with our C chord. Then we're gonna play it F to F, G to G, and A minor with this A in the bass, okay? All right, the rhythm that I'm gonna do to bring the two hands together sounds like this. Together, right, together, one so you can hear how it sounds since there's going to be a lot of repetition with the verses one two and three maybe I'll just play through verse one and then you can see how it melds together with the um, the melody sung together okay all right come out of sadness from wherever wondering like why did you just break the rules that you taught us of the together right together right okay so sometimes I like to block chord which just kind of means like hold it out if you have a sustain pedal the third one if you have three pedals it'll be the furthest one on the right it sustains your noise for you and plus if you're playing along with other people a band or somebody else is singing or you have a guitar going it really sounds good to just kind of check this song but it might be written in 6-8 time which would make sense why I kind of have this like waltzing feel to me of what I'm kind of trying to do with that one to two ratio if that makes sense like dun 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 uh anyway all right let's go into the chorus uh we're not gonna play a waltz here we go now we're gonna start with the f chord so lay down your burdens lay Relaxed rhythm. All who are broken, lift up your face. Death coming up. A wanderer come home. You're not too a minor. Far. into verse 2. There's hope for the hopeless and all those who strayed come sit at the table, come taste the grace. There's rest for the weary, the rest that endures. And earth has no sorrow that heaven can't cure. Alright, I'm going to break this up because I probably went 
too fast there. I get su super excited. David Crowder, come on, Matt Maurer. Um, so some simple ways to break it up. We remove the left hand altogether. Just play right hand by itself. Okay, so that you can get used to playing through those chord transitions, moving from chord to go chord. Um, also notice similarities. Like I said, verse one, two, and three, it looks like they are identical in how they're playing um, the order of the chords. And then, um, let's see, the bridge. And uh, yeah, so sometimes it just changes the order of the chords. But uh, so just go through that. Just go through the chords, maybe right hand by itself. So there's hope for the hopeless and all those who've strayed come sit at the table come taste the grace a minor there's rest for the weary rest that endures and earth has no sorrow that heaven can't cure and then kind of pick up that rhythm leads to the bridge. loop into the chorus. All right, I'm going to play it beginning to end. This one might be a little bit trickier for some of you. Uh, like I said, just break it down into small steps. So learn the verse right hand only. Notice that verse one, two, and three are repetitive. Um, just kind of break it up into some ch simple um, ways so that you can just jump into it uh, eventually two hands together. All right, here we go. Take 